Welcome to Enfigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series we are going to take up today one very interesting system of equations. Given equations are x plus y plus z equal to zero given. Second equation is x cube plus y cube plus z cube over x square plus y square plus z square equal to one. And third equation is x y z equal to two. X y z are real numbers. We have to find out. So let's get started by writing one algebraic identity. That is x cube plus y cube plus z cube. If you will write the formula, then minus three x y z equal to x plus y plus z times x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z and minus z x. This is what we know. Now we will apply whatever is given to us. So equation number one. If you will see x plus y plus z equal to zero. So I will write here zero. X y z equation number three. If you will write equation one, two, three. So from equation three you can write x plus x y z equal to two. So right hand side will become zero because of x plus y plus z equal to zero. So I can write here x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus six equal to zero. Three times two is six. So minus six equal to zero. Now I will consider minus six to the right hand side. So our equation will become x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Equal to six. Now, from equation number two, from this equation, we can conclude cross multiply. Then we can write x cube plus y cube plus z cube. That would be equal to x square plus y square plus z square after cross multiplying. So I am writing here directly y square plus z square. Done. Now I will use second identity that is whole square. So I will write x is x plus y plus z whole square. Let's expand. So x square plus y square plus z square plus two times y z plus z x. Okay. Now I will put again the value. Now let me let me show here x square plus y square plus z square. You can see it is six. So here I will put six. X plus y plus z. Here I will put zero. And from this equation I will collect x y plus y z plus z x. So I will write here zero is equal to six plus two times x y plus y z plus z x. In other words, two times x y plus y z plus z x equal to minus six. Divide both sides with two. I will write x y plus y z plus z x equal to negative three. This is our second equation. So I will frame. I will write the system again. Let me write here. I will write the very first equation x plus y plus z. Equal to zero. This equation was given in the problem. Okay. Second equation is this one. So I will write x y plus y z plus z x equal to negative three. And third equation is x y z equal to two. If I will consider x y z is the root of cubic equation. X y z are the root of One cubic polynomial equation, then it is sum of roots. Last one is product of roots, and second one is sum of root taken two at a time. So I am writing only two at a time. Sum of roots taken two at a time. So I can frame one cubic equation. Let us write. General consideration of cubic equation is ax cube plus bx square plus cx 
plus d equal to 0. Then sum of roots minus b over a, product of roots minus d over a and sum of roots taken two at a time is c over a. This is what we know. So let us frame the equation directly and then we will solve that cubic equation whose roots are x, y, z. So I will write, let me write here, t cube, see sum of roots, it is 0. So I will write plus 0 t square. Okay, sum of roots minus b over a, so it will be 0 as it is, no change. Then I have to write over there sum 2 at a time. So I will write minus 3t product of the roots which is 2. So I have to write over there. Now you can see this equation is t cube minus 3t minus 2 whose roots are x, y, z. Now it is simple. One cubic equation only. Let's solve it. t cube minus 3t minus 2. So let us consider our conventional method, rational root theorem. So if I will write the eligible factors of constant coefficient 2, then I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2. Leading coefficient, if you will see, it is plus minus 1. So I can write the ratio directly. So that would be plus minus 1 and plus minus 2, constant to the leading coefficient ratio. So I will put t equal to 1. Let us see what will happen. 1 minus 3 minus 2. So it is not equal to 0. Let me put t equal to negative 1. So minus 1 plus 3 minus 2. Yes, this is true. So you can see 3 minus 3 equal to 0. That means t equal to negative 1 is our base solution. Now we are through for synthetic division method. So what I will write now? I will write all the coefficient of cubic equation. Let us write coefficient of t cube 1, coefficient of t square, it is not there, so 0, coefficient of t minus 3, constant minus 2. Now let us write the leading term. So that would be leading coefficient would be 1. Now let us multiply with the base solution 1 by 1. So minus 1 times min plus 1. So I will write here minus 1 minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1, 1, minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2, 2, 0. Here we are having coefficients for quadratic equations. So t square minus t minus 2 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation. So if I will apply formula, let us apply formula directly. So I will put one line over there. t is equal to minus b so 1 plus minus under the root b square, so that is minus 1 square is 1, minus 4ac, so plus 8, over 2a, so 2, 1 plus minus root 9, that is 3 over 2, 4 over 2 is 2, minus 2 over 2 is minus 1, okay, and see base solution is again t equal to minus 1, so overall we are having x, y, z values. Let me write here. t is equal to minus 1, 2 and minus 1. Now let us consider permutation combination. I have to write three values, three set x, y, z. So x, y, z, I will write negative 1, negative 1, 2. Then I can consider negative 1, 2, negative 1, then I can consider 2, negative 1, negative 1. So we are having three sets of values. x, y, z, minus 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1. I hope this video is meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Thanks.